So much for joining us right here at 6. I'm Shay McAllister. We start with a huge break in a southern Indiana cold case. A teenage boy missing since he went camping with friends in 1971 finally found. His remains identified after 50 years. The three friends were students at Brownstown Indiana High School. 19-year-old Jerry Autry, a star football player. 17-year-old Stanley Robinson, a member of the school's Christian Standards Group. And 16-year-old Mike Sewell, vice president of his class. Well, all three spent the night in a cabin that caught fire. Jerry and Stanley were killed in that fire. Mike's remains were never found. Just last year, a Jackson County detective decided to reopen the case and reignite the search for Mike Sewell. Today, detectives say they have finally found him, his family getting answers more than 50 years later. Alexis Jones and Alyssa Newton are in Jackson County following the big break. Decades ago, loved ones gathered here at Fairview Cemetery to bury the remains of the two boys found in the cabin fire. After searching for Michael Sewell for years, Jackson County Sheriff's Department says he may have been among them all along. It's the answer family members never thought they would live to see. I didn't really think I would ever know until I died what happened to my brother. Belinda Pack says that all changed when she got a call from Lieutenant Adam Nicholson a few days ago. Last year, Nicholson teamed up with archaeologists from the University of Indianapolis to look into Michael Sewell's disappearance. The 16-year-old was last seen in 1971, the night of the fire, but his remains were never found. It just didn't seem possible for a 16-year-old to just run away and still be missing after 50 some years. After removing and analyzing remains, experts say they found three people inside Jerry Archery and Stanley Robinson's caskets. Archaeologists then tested the bones for DNA. One was a match for Robinson. Linda Pack is sure the third body is her older brother Michael's. If I never get DNA, I'm happy with what I did get. I mean, it'd be nice if we did sometime. We've not given up on that, but I'm happy with the way the way it's turned out. So Lieutenant Nicholson says they are waiting on new technology to test for more DNA in Southern Indiana. Alexis Jones, WHAS 11 on your side.